Okay, I got a question, people. This camera probably zooming in all up my nose, but anyway. Yo, why do people get on Facebook and be posting stuff like, I'm chewing my food? Yo, nobody cares. What are you talking about? Go find something else better to do. Say something constructive. I don't care if you're chewing your food, if you if you if you, if you dig it up your nose, or if you, if you're about to take a nap. Man, I don't care about none of that, man. Idiot. People get on Facebook and just say some stupid things. Mind you, you can say I'm stupid right now because. I'm sitting here thinking about all this stuff. I should have, realistically, I should have some better things on my mind right now, but I don't. <laughs> so deal with it. And don't watch this video and say, oh, you should this. And don't talk if you're watching it, because if you're watching this video, that probably means you don't have too much to do right now. Because you're watching me right now ramble about a whole bunch of nonsense that's on my mind. You know, don't don't later watch this video and then leave a comment like, oh, you need to find better things with yourself to do. And uh, man, I ain't got nothing else better to do. I'm driving home. Shut up. You shouldn't. You gotta explain why you're watching this and then why you leaving a negative comment. Like why you got time for all that. But anyway, I'm rambling again. So yeah, you people who who post nonsense on Facebook. I just really need to stop. If you ain't got nothing good to say, just shut up. And uh, another question about Facebook is why do we all get consumed and caught up with Facebook like we don't have a life? You know what I'm saying? We're all interested in what the next person has to say at this particular moment. Why do we really care? You know what I'm saying? Why do we get sucked into Facebook and MySpace and YouTube? Why do we get sucked into all this stuff and this stuff is not making us any money? What the hell, what does that say about us as a society? When this is what it's come to. You know what I'm saying? We don't call each other on the phone no more. We don't hang out. We just log on to our phones or log on to our computers and type and, and read next person's messages. Man, we're becoming a society of disconnected individuals within a larger group social setting. Yeah, sounds deep, doesn't it? And I had to think about that. I had to choose my words carefully, but that's real. Think about it. Research it and look it up. That's what it is. Oh, I thought I cut the camera off. My fault. All right, so since the camera's still on, um, I wanted to talk about Uncle Sam and his taxes. First of all, I ain't got no damn Uncle Sam. We ain't family, homie. So why is you digging into my damn pockets? You understand? I'm not with all that. For some reason, it's legal for Uncle Sam to be digging all up in my pockets. Matter of fact, he got two hands in my pockets. I, I, I ain't feeling all of that, man. I don't respect it. I don't like it. And I damn sure didn't authorize it. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to stop that. You understand? You's a crook. You's a shyster. And I just ain't with it. Think about this, people. We get taxed before we get uh, 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 before we get paid before we get our paychecks we get taxed they take money out of your joint before you get it all right now when you go to cash your check if you're not getting direct deposit when you cash your check they're taking money for that okay then whenever you make a single purchase of any kind you're getting taxed on that. Yo, get out of my damn pocket. You understand? When you think about how much money you make and how much money you actually receive and, and, and have access to, it's all wrong. The numbers don't add up, man. It's wrong. 
it, what it is, it, it's extortion. That's that's what it's really boiling down to. We're being extorted by, by the government. You know what I'm saying? And it's wrong. We need to put somebody in office that's gonna change that. You understand what I'm saying? Get your hands out of my pocket, Uncle Sam. I ain't feeling you. You know what I'm saying? We get taxed for everything. Everything there's a tax. There's a tax just to breathe and just to live, but we just don't know it. But trust me, it's coming out of our money. If you got direct deposit, all right, your money's going directly into the bank electronically and all that. But then when you got to pull your money out, you got to stop at an ATM, you're getting taxed. Hold that. When you got to stop at a at a anything, you're getting taxed just to get your money. Just to get your hands on your money that you bust your ass and work hard for, you're getting taxed for it. I need a piece of that. That's what Uncle Sam is saying. Uncle Sam is saying for every red cent that you spend and that you rightfully make and earn yourself, I need a piece of all of that. You make a transaction, I need a piece of that. You do anything, I want in. That's what he's saying. Then he's taking your money and he's squandering it on BS and nonsense and, and recklessness. You know what I'm saying? They taking trips at our expense. They sending people to the moon just to gather moon rocks and then ain't get mad. Listen, it's out of control, people. It's really out of control. I'm not feeling it. And I propose we all stand up as a righteous community and reclaim and retake what's rightfully ours and what we deserve. You understand? Power to the people. Power to the people, people. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks when people get pulled over. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad that's not me. You understand? We gonna get homie on tape. Catch him doing something illegal. But anyway, we back on this right here, man. All of this nonsense needs to stop, man. Cause I ain't feeling it. If you walking around, yo, shout out to everybody who has a hoopty and has a full tank of gas. You understand? I salute you. And also shout out to anybody who has a high-end, expensive, luxury vehicle and is riding around on E. No gas in the tank. But you looking fly and you shining. I salute you too. I'm somewhere in the middle of all of that. So I understand everybody's point of view. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to everybody who's doing what they got to do to survive and get by. You know what I'm saying? As long as you ain't doing nothing too crooked. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's just what it is. That's what it was. And damn it, that's what it's going to be. Shout out to all the weirdos. Believe it or not, you got to respect and appreciate the weirdos, the strangers, and the funny style dudes. Because what happens, you just end up making me look better. Anybody that's cool and has any type of self-dignity and respect to the way they carry themselves, you just make all of us look better with your weirdness and your, you know, off-the-wall antics. Y'all just make us look better, man. Y'all just make our job that much easier. So, you know, on behalf of all the regular people out there, we salute y'all. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate your um, contributions to society. Even though if we don't necessarily like it and we ain't really feeling all that weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do see, you know, where it helps me. You know what I'm saying? Once again, thank you. I appreciate it. Keep doing what you do. Keep it weird. Keep it strange. Just keep it from around me. <laughs> yes, sir. But, um, that's just what it is. I'm still trying not to crash. I'm trying to keep myself entertained on this long ass boring ride home. So um, until I figure out something ignorant to say or something very constructive to say that's gonna feed your mind, we'll be right back at y'all in a minute. Yeah!